This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Friday, December 18th, 2020. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Often around this time of year, we do a joint solstice service with the Order of the Red Grail. And because of the pandemic and because of the way things go, uh, we didn't, we weren't able to organize that this year. That's uh, my fault as much as anything else. Um, but we'll talk about solstice a little bit this weekend on Sunday. Monday morning at about 4 a.m. is the astronomical solstice. So this is the last daily update I have while the, the days are getting shorter. And so rather than my own words about that, this is a poem that we considered for the worship service on Sunday. It's by the poet and writer Jan Richardson, a blessing for the longest night. All throughout these months, she writes, as the shadows have lengthened, this blessing has been gathering itself, making ready, preparing for this night. It has practiced walking in the dark, traveling with its eyes closed, feeling its way by memory, by touch, by the pull of the moon even as it wanes. So believe me, when I tell you this blessing will reach you even if you have not light enough to read it, it will find you even though you cannot see it coming. You will know the moment of its arriving by your release of the breath you have held so long, of the clenching in your hands, of the clutch around your heart, a thinning of the darkness that has drawn itself around you. This blessing does not mean to take the night away, but it knows its hidden roads, knows the resting stops along the path, knows what it means to travel in the company of a friend, so when this blessing comes, take its hand, get up, set out on the road you cannot see. This is the night when you can trust that any direction you go, you will be walking toward the dawn. Amen, and I'll see you on Sunday.